So far, we have created this scene by placing canvases and drawing on them, or using projection to adjust the position of those canvases. This is a great start, but sometimes we want to edit the contents of those canvases. This is where selection becomes really helpful. Let's say we want to edit the clouds. Make sure you have the cloud canvas selected and go into drawing mode because we'll be editing that canvas. Tap on the selection button here to open up the selection tools. On the left side, you can see the different ways you can select, and on the right side, these are the various tools we have to edit the selection. Right now, they're disabled because we don't have anything selected. The default way to select is to simply swipe over the strokes of the drawing that you want to edit. So start by swiping over the clouds. You'll see a red highlight appear over the selected strokes. If you accidentally select too many strokes, just hit the minus sign and swipe back over the strokes that you don't want. Switch back to the plus sign to keep adding to your selection. You can also invert your selection with this inverse tool. This is an easy way to select all if you want to select everything on a canvas. The other way to select is with the lasso tool, which you can choose here. With the lasso tool, you can draw a region around the content that you want to select. This is particularly useful if you're working with images. And we can clear our selection as well. Now that we have the cloud selected, let's take a look at the various adjustments we can make. You can change the color of the clouds with this color picker. You can delete the selected clouds with the trash can. You can use the move tool here to adjust the size and position of the selection. Try tapping on this move tool and making the clouds bigger or smaller by pinching or dragging to move them. You can also rotate the clouds. You're not affecting the position of the canvas here, you're simply adjusting the clouds along that canvas. Okay, you can tap confirm if you like the new adjustments or cancel if you want to discard them. There are a few more things we can do with our selection. This tool that looks like a layer stack moves the selected clouds to a new layer in the canvas. We are going to look at layers in the next video, so we'll skip this one for now. And then we have the projection tools that you saw in the earlier videos, parallel projection and hinge projection. These work in exactly the same way, but instead of adjusting the position of the whole canvas, we can just adjust the selected content. So let's say I just want to push one cloud farther back. To do this, I can deselect the other clouds using the minus sign, and now I have my one cloud selected, and I can choose the projection tool here. If I tap on the projection tool and move the cloud, I can move it farther away from the others. Just like before, we're preserving the appearance of the drawing, but we're pushing the cloud so it's farther away. Use the view in the preview window as reference. When you're ready, tap confirm. As you can see, we've created a new canvas in the canvas list for the new cloud. This is because it's no longer in the same plane as the original cloud canvas. Okay, let's return to selection to look at a few more tools. I'm going to the canvas with the birds. Again, I'll go to drawing mode and then to the selection tools. There's one more feature in selection that's really helpful. When I choose any of these editing tools, like moving or projection, I have the option to do this with a copy of that selection. So select one of the birds and then turn on this duplicate tool. Now, whatever we choose to do with the bird, we'll be creating a duplicate of it. So let's say we want another bird over here. I have the duplicate tool turned on and I choose the move tool. Then I can drag the bird over here. And as you can see, I'm moving a copy of the bird. The same applies with these other tools. I can duplicate the bird and project it farther away or hinge it. There are so many possibilities with selection. You could create an entire drawing all on one canvas and then use selection to take elements of that drawing and project them. Take some time to play around with it and explore the possibilities.